travel enthusiasts, welcome to Where to Sleep Eat See, your one-stop platform for making your travel dreams come true. We're here to guide you step-by-step step on your journey to discover the most breathtaking destinations around the globe. And today we're going to help you plan your next dream vacation. We'll provide detailed information on where to sleep, where to go, what to eat, and more. Our goal is to make your travel planning as smooth and enjoyable as possible, so grab your notebooks, fasten your seatbelts, and prepare to be whisked away to a place where dreams meet reality. Are you ready to discover your next dream destination? Let's dive right in. Have you ever dreamed of visiting the Maldives? Ah, the Maldives, a true paradise on earth where turquoise waters blend seamlessly with the sky, making it hard to distinguish where one ends and the other begins. Picture this. A chain of 26 atolls spread out over 700 kilometers in the Indian Ocean, each one more breathtaking than the last. Imagine the stunning natural beauty of the Maldives, a haven for diverse marine life, where colorful coral reefs teem with life below the water's surface. And let's not forget the luxurious resorts. These are not just any resorts. They are private islands of luxury, where your every whim is catered to, where every view is a postcard, and where time seems to stand still. So if the Maldives is on your bucket list, then this guide is for you. Pack your bags, folks, because we're about to embark on the journey of a lifetime. First, let's familiarize ourselves with the Maldives. Nestled in the heart of the Indian Ocean, the Maldives is a tropical paradise comprising a staggering 26 coral atolls, which in turn house a sum total of over 1,000 islands. This sun-kissed destination is a magnet for travelers seeking sun, sand, and serenity, with its crystal-clear waters, abundant marine life, and pristine white beaches. Though small in size, the Maldives packs a punch in terms of its geographical diversity. From its low-lying coral islands, barely rising above sea level, to its lush vegetation, the Maldives offers a unique blend of sea, sand, and greenery that's hard to beat. But the Maldives is not just about its natural beauty, it's also a place steeped in culture and history. The Maldivian culture is a melting pot of influences from India, Sri Lanka, Africa and Arab countries, all of which have left their mark on its music, dance and cuisine. This unique cultural blend, combined with the welcoming nature of the Maldivian people, creates a warm and inviting atmosphere that adds another layer to the country's charm. Now let's talk about the tourism industry, the lifeblood of the Maldives. This island nation thrives on tourism, with a focus on luxury resorts and high-end experiences. You'll find some of the world's most opulent resorts here, from overwater bungalows to underwater restaurants. Each resort is typically located on its own private island, providing guests with an intimate and exclusive experience. Yet, the Maldives also caters to a diverse range of travelers, including backpackers and budget-conscious tourists. Guest houses on local islands offer an affordable alternative to the luxury resorts, allowing visitors to experience the local culture firsthand. And let's not forget the incredible underwater world that the Maldives is renowned for. With its rich marine biodiversity, it's a diver's paradise, offering some of the best diving and snorkeling experiences in the world. Now that we know a little about the Maldives, let's explore how to get there. We hope you're enjoying this virtual tour of the Maldives so far. If you are, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more amazing travel content. Found this video helpful? Give us a thumbs up. Know someone who's planning a dream vacation? Feel free to share this guide with them. And don't forget to click on the bell icon so you'll be the first to know when we drop our latest videos. Your support means the world to us and helps us continue to bring you detailed and useful travel guides. Thank you. And now let's take a closer look at the Maldives. Before we dive into planning your trip, let's take a closer look at what the Maldives has to offer. Each of its islands has a unique charm, but they all share the same breathtaking beauty. Whether you're an adrenaline junkie, a nature lover, or someone seeking peace and tranquility, the Maldives has something for everyone. For the adventure seekers, there are plenty of water sports to indulge in. From jet skiing to windsurfing, parasailing to paddleboarding, the options are endless. And of course, don't forget the world-class diving and snorkeling opportunities. Imagine swimming alongside manta rays, sea turtles, and an array of colorful fish. It's truly a once-in-a-lifetime experience. For those seeking solace, you can unwind on the powdery white beaches, take a dip in the warm turquoise waters, or relax with a spa treatment. Nature enthusiasts can explore the lush tropical vegetation, observe the vibrant marine life, or even go island hopping, 
to experience the diverse ecosystems. If you're a foodie, the Maldivian cuisine is a must-try. It's a delightful fusion of flavors from India, Sri Lanka, and the Middle East. Savor the fresh seafood, indulge in the aromatic curries, and try the staple roshi bread. And let's not forget about the cultural experiences. Visit the local islands, interact with the friendly locals, learn about their traditions, and even try your hand at some traditional crafts. The Maldives is not just a destination, it's an experience that will leave you with memories to last a lifetime. So are you ready to start planning your dream vacation? But before we move on, don't forget to subscribe, like and share our video. Your support helps us create more travel guides for you. Planning a trip to the Maldives requires some thought. This slice of paradise is a year-round destination, but the best times to visit are during the dry season, which runs from November to April. The skies are blue and the seas are calm, making it perfect for sunbathing and water sports. However, keep in mind that this is also peak tourist season, so the islands can get a bit crowded. If you prefer a quieter vacation, consider visiting during the wet season, from May to October. Yes, there will be some rain, but the showers are usually short-lived and make the islands even more lush and beautiful. Plus, this is when you'll find the best deals on flights and accommodations. Regardless of when you decide to visit, it's crucial to start planning and booking your trip early. The Maldives is a popular destination, and the best resorts can fill up fast, especially during the dry season. Early planning also gives you a chance to snag the best flight deals and gives you ample time to prepare your itinerary. Speaking of itineraries, don't forget to factor in travel time between islands. The Maldives is made up of over a thousand islands, and while you may not visit all of them, getting from one island to another can take some time, so make sure to plan accordingly. And finally, while planning your trip, remember to consider the local customs and regulations. The Maldives is a Muslim country, and while the resort islands are quite liberal, it's still important to respect the local culture. For instance, if you plan to visit the capital city of Mail, remember that modest clothing is the norm. Also, since Maldives is a Muslim country, don't bring alcohol in the country. Alcohol will be confiscated. So there you have it. The Maldives is a dreamy destination, but like any trip, it requires some planning. Consider the best time to visit, book early, plan your itinerary and respect the local culture. With the right planning, your dream vacation is just around the corner. Getting to the Maldives is easier than you might think. So let's explore how we can find and book a flight to this tropical paradise. First up, let's talk airlines. There are numerous reputable airlines that fly to the Maldives. Emirates, Qatar Airways, Etihad and Turkish Airlines, to name a few. It's always a good idea to compare fares, keeping in mind that prices can fluctuate based on the time of year, day of the week, and how far in advance you book. Now let's talk layovers. Depending on where you're flying from, you may have to embrace the inevitable layover. But don't fret. Layovers can be a great opportunity to stretch your legs, have a meal, or even explore a new city. Just remember to check the visa requirements if you're planning on leaving the airport. Flight durations vary greatly based on your departure point. If you're flying from the east coast of the United States, for example, you're looking at about 20 hours. From Europe, it's roughly 10 to 12 hours. From Asia, it's significantly less, anywhere between four to six hours. So, pack a good book, download some movies, and prepare for a journey. When booking your flight, consider using flight aggregator websites. These platforms compile flight prices from various airlines, allowing you to compare prices and schedules all in one place. Keep in mind that the best deals usually appear two to three months before the travel date. So plan accordingly. Don't forget to check the baggage allowance for your chosen airline. The last thing you want is to be caught off guard with extra fees for your luggage. Also, consider the time it takes to travel from the airport to your resort. Some resorts in the Maldives are accessible only by seaplane or speedboat from Mail the capital. And there you have it, a quick guide to getting you airborne and on your way to the Maldives. It may seem like a lot, but don't worry. With a little planning and preparation, you'll be soaking up the sun in no time. Remember, the journey is part of the adventure. Welcome to Mail, the capital of the Maldives. With vibrant streets buzzing with life and color, Mail is the heart of this tropical paradise. As you disembark from your flight, you'll have your first taste of the Maldivian hospitality, with warm smiles and friendly faces welcoming you to their home. 
Now, let's talk arrival procedures. Maldives is an easy country to enter for most travelers. At the Mail International Airport, you'll need to present your passport, valid for at least six months from your date of entry, and your accommodation booking confirmation. You'll be issued a 30-day tourist visa on arrival, free of charge. Your luggage will then be screened by customs. As a general rule, you're not allowed to bring in alcohol, pork products, or any religious materials offensive to Islam. The Maldivian rufiyah is the local currency, but US dollars are widely accepted. There's a convenient currency exchange counter at the airport if you need it. It's also a good idea to have some local currency on hand for smaller transactions. Once you've cleared customs, step outside and breathe in the tropical air. You've arrived in Mail, a city that's a unique blend of urban hustle and laid-back island vibe. It's worth spending a day or two here to explore the local culture, visit the bustling markets and try out some authentic Maldivian cuisine. As for getting to your resort, most are located on their own islands and provide speedboat or seaplane transfers. If you've booked a resort on a local island, you might take a public ferry. Either way, it's a scenic ride offering your first glimpse of the stunning atolls and turquoise waters that make the Maldives so enchanting. Remember the Maldives runs on island time, so take a deep breath, relax, and let the laid-back pace of life here wash over you. You're on vacation after all. From mail, your island paradise awaits. So get ready to have the time of your life in the Maldives where every day is a tropical dream come true. Getting to your resort is an adventure in itself. Once you've landed in Mail, the capital city, the journey to your island resort truly begins. This isn't your typical cab ride from the airport. No, this is something far more exciting. You'll be whisked away on a speedboat or seaplane, making your way across the stunning azure waters of the Indian Ocean. The speedboat option is a thrilling experience. Imagine the wind in your hair, the salt on your skin, and the exhilarating rush as the boat skims over the waves. It's a faster way to reach the nearby islands, but it's also the more budget-friendly option. Speedboat transfers are usually included in your resort booking, but if not, expect to pay around $100 to $200 per person for a round trip. If you're headed to a resort further away, or you simply want to indulge in a little luxury, then a seaplane journey is the way to go. Picture this, soaring above the Maldives, gazing down at the endless expanse of clear blue ocean dotted with tiny islands. It's a sight to behold and a memory to cherish. Seaplane transfers are typically pricier than speedboats, ranging from $200 to $500 per person for a round trip. For both speedboat and seaplane transfers, it's best to book in advance. Your resort can assist you with the arrangements, ensuring a seamless transition from the bustling city of mail to your tranquil island escape. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Whether by speedboat or seaplane, the journey is as much a part of the Maldivian experience as the destination itself. Take in the breathtaking views, feel the pulse of the ocean, and anticipate the adventure that awaits. Soon enough, you'll be stepping onto the white sands of your resort. The Maldives is known for its luxury resorts, but there's a range of options to suit different budgets. This tropical paradise is teeming with accommodation options, from budget-friendly guest houses to luxurious overwater villas, all offering a unique slice of this island nation. Let's start with the budget-friendly options. Guest houses are a great choice for travelers who want to experience the Maldives without breaking the bank. Often found on local islands, these accommodations offer a more authentic experience, allowing you to mingle with the locals and get a taste of the Maldivian culture. They may not have the glitz and glamour of a five-star resort, but they make up for it with their warm hospitality and home-like atmosphere. For those who want a little more luxury without going overboard, boutique hotels are the perfect middle ground. These accommodations offer a blend of comfort and style, often featuring modern amenities and beautiful views. You'll get a taste of luxury, but still keep some change in your pocket for exploring. And then of course there are the luxury resorts. These are the accommodations that put the Maldives on the map. Picture this, an overwater villa with a glass floor that lets you watch the marine life below. You have your own private pool and a personal butler at your beck and call. These resorts offer top-notch amenities, from world-class dining to private island excursions, and they're located on some of the most beautiful islands in the Maldives. When choosing your accommodation, consider factors such as location, amenities, and price. Are you looking for a quiet, secluded spot or a bustling island with plenty to do? 
Do you want a simple room or a villa with a private pool? And of course, what's your budget? Remember, no matter what type of accommodation you choose, you're in the Maldives, one of the most beautiful places on earth. Whether it's a cozy guest house, a stylish boutique hotel, or a luxury resort, you'll be waking up to the sound of the waves, the sight of crystal clear waters, and the warmth of the Maldivian sun. No matter where you stay, you'll be surrounded by the beauty of the Maldives. Let's start with taking a look at the top five budget lodgings in the Maldives. These accommodations provide a more affordable way to experience the beauty of the Maldives without sacrificing comfort or quality. Firstly, we have the Salt Beach Hotel. Located on Mafushi Island, this guest house offers clean, cozy rooms and a friendly atmosphere. It's just a short walk from the beach, and there's a variety of local eateries nearby. This three-star guest house offers a 24-hour front desk and full-day security. The property offers bike rental and features a garden and outdoor fireplace. At the guest house, the units come with a wardrobe. Each room has a kettle, a flat-screen TV, a safety deposit box and free Wi-Fi, while some rooms include a balcony and some have sea views. At the guest house, each unit has bed linen and towels. Guests are welcome to eat at the on-site family-friendly restaurant, which is open for dinner, lunch and high tea. The room rate for two adults can be as low as under $40 per night. Next up is the Courtyard Guest House in Harar. This budget-friendly guest house provides a homely experience with its comfortable rooms and welcoming staff. It's also located close to a stunning beach, perfect for sunbathing and snorkeling. Facing the beachfront, Courtyard Guest House offers three-star accommodations in Hurrah and has a garden, shared lounge and terrace. Featuring a concierge service, this property also provides guests with a restaurant. The property has a 24-hour front desk, airport transportation, room service and free Wi-Fi. The hotel will provide guests with air-conditioned rooms offering a desk, an electric teapot, a safety deposit box, a flat-screen TV and a private bathroom with a bidet. At Courtyard Guest House, rooms include bed linen and towels. A buffet, a la carte or continental breakfast is served at the property. Hurrah Bikini Beach is a few steps from the accommodation. The cost per night is around $59. Third on our list is the Newtown Inn, located in Hulhumail. Offering a range of rooms to suit different needs, the Newtown Inn is a popular choice for budget-conscious travelers. It's also conveniently located close to the airport, making it a great option for those early morning flights. Located just 0.6 miles from Hulhumail Ferry Terminal, Newtown Inn is a guest house offering modern, air-conditioned rooms with free Wi-Fi. It features its own restaurant and a 24-hour front desk. Newtown Inn is 3.1 miles from the city of Mail. Mail International Airport is 4.7 miles from the property. All rooms have a flat-screen cable TV, minibar and desk. Private bathroom includes a shower, toilet, hair dryer and free toiletries. Guests can enjoy massage services during their stay at Newtown Inn. Laundry services are also available. Local and Indian cuisine are served at Newtown Inn's restaurant. You can often find the cost per night around $75. Fourth, we have the Rashu Hiya in Difushi. This budget guest house combines comfort and affordability, with clean rooms, friendly service, and a rooftop terrace that offers stunning views of the ocean. Offering a restaurant and a private beach area, Rashu Hiya is located in Difushi. Free Wi-Fi access is available. Each room here will provide you with a TV, air conditioning and a balcony. Complete with a refrigerator, the dining area also has an electric kettle and a dining table. Featuring a spa bath sauna in some rooms, the private bathrooms also come with a hot water shower. You can enjoy garden view from the room. Extras include a patio, a minibar and a seating area. At Rashu Hiya, you will find free bikes. Other facilities offered at the property include entertainment staff, water sports facilities and a shared lounge. An array of activities can be enjoyed on site or in the surroundings, including cycling, fishing and diving. Mail International Airport is 22 miles away. The price per night is around $56. Finally, we recommend the Arena Lodge Maldives in Mafushi. Known for its excellent service and comfortable rooms, the Arena Lodge also offers a range of activities from fishing trips to snorkeling excursions. Situated along the coastline of Marfushi, Arena Beach Hotel features modern and tranquil accommodation with free Wi-Fi access in the entire property, including rooms. Guests can enjoy water sports activities such as diving, snorkeling and windsurfing on site. Elegantly furnished, air-conditioned rooms come with a personal safe, electric kettle, 
a wardrobe and a flat screen TV with cable satellite channels. Offering bathtub or shower facility, private bathrooms also include a hairdryer and free toiletries like a dental kit. At Arena Beach Hotel, guests may relax at the common hot tub or sun lounges located at the rooftop. The friendly 24-hour front desk staff can assist with ticketing services, luggage storage and tour arrangements. Free parking is also available on site. Situated right on the sandy beach, the in-house restaurant serves delectable local and western cuisine, accompanied with views of the Blue Lagoon. The price per night is around $90. Staying at these budget lodgings allows you to experience the beauty of the Maldives without breaking the bank. They offer a more local and authentic experience and the chance to engage with the Maldivian community. Remember, a trip to the Maldives doesn't have to be expensive to be memorable. Perhaps you're seeking a perfect balance between cost and comfort. Well, you're in luck. Let's explore the top five four-star hotels in the Maldives where affordability meets paradise. First on our list is the Kani Palm Beach. Known for its beautiful beach and captivating house reef, this resort offers an affordable paradise for snorkeling and diving enthusiasts. The rooms are cozy, providing a comfortable stay amidst the natural beauty of the island. Facing the beachfront, Kani Palm Beach offers four-star accommodations in Mafushi and has a garden, shared lounge and terrace. Featuring family rooms, this property also provides guests with an outdoor pool. The property has a 24-hour front desk, airport transportation, room service and free Wi-Fi. The hotel will provide guests with air-conditioned rooms offering a desk, an electric teapot, a mini bar, a safety deposit box, a flat screen TV, and a private bathroom with a shower. At Kani Palm Beach, the rooms have bed linen and towels. At the accommodation, you'll find a restaurant serving international cuisine. Dairy-free, halal and vegan options can also be requested. The area is popular for cycling and bike rental is available at Kani Palm Beach. Bikini Beach is a few steps from the hotel. The cost is around $160 per night. Next, we have the Thulhagiri Island Resort, this resort is often described as one of the most picturesque islands in the area. With its stunning lagoon and long stretches of white sandy beaches, Thulhagiri offers the perfect blend of relaxation and adventure. Facing the beachfront, Thulhagiri Island Resort and Spa offers four-star accommodations in North Male Atoll and has a fitness center, restaurant and bar. The resort features an outdoor swimming pool, evening entertainment and a 24-hour front desk. At the resort, rooms contain air conditioning, a desk, a TV, a private bathroom, bed linen, towels and a terrace with a sea view. Every room has a safety deposit box and free Wi-Fi, while certain rooms are equipped with a balcony. The rooms will provide guests with a closet and an electric teapot. Thulhagiri Island Resort is located in the heart of North Male Atoll. Their speedboats are available to pick you up from the airport any time of the day and only take 20 minutes from the airport. You can find room for around $170 per night. Our third pick is the Fihalhohi Island Resort. The overwater bungalows here provide a luxurious experience at a fraction of the price. Surrounded by turquoise waters and home to a rich house reef, this resort is a perfect choice for those who love the ocean. Located within the South Male Atoll, Fihalhohi Island Resort features crystal clear water, white sandy beaches and lush greenery. Guests can indulge in a pampering massage at its spa. Featuring a terrace with seating area, air-conditioned rooms are fitted with tiled flooring, a wardrobe, telephone and ceiling fan. The bathroom comes with a hairdryer and shower facility. Free Wi-Fi is provided. Fihalhohi Island Resort has a tour desk that can assist guests with sightseeing and travel arrangements. Guests may request for laundry services from the 24-hour front desk, while water sports activities such as fishing and a paddy-certified dove school are available on site. The in-house Palm Grove restaurant serves mouth-watering Maldivian and international cuisines. The Fisherman's Bar and Blue Lagoon Bar offers a wide variety of drinks and beverages. The resort 45-minute speedboat ride away from Mail International Airport. A mandatory transfer is provided by the resort and charges are to be paid upon arrival. The cost is around $150 per night. Fourth on our list is the Sun Island Resort and Spa. As the largest three-star resort in the Maldives, it offers a variety of amenities, including a fitness center, spa, and five different restaurants. With its lush gardens and serene beaches, the Sun Island Resort promises a memorable stay. Last but not least, we have the Miru Island Resort and Spa. 
this family-friendly resort offers a range of accommodations from garden rooms to water villas. With its two freshwater pools and the Duni Spa, Miru Island ensures a relaxing and rejuvenating vacation. These hotels offer a comfortable stay without breaking the bank. They are proof that you don't need to spend a fortune to enjoy the mesmerizing beauty of the Maldives. With their friendly service, beautiful locations and a host of enjoyable amenities, these resorts ensure your trip to the Maldives is nothing short of magical. Having left the realm of three-star hotels, we now fixate on the unparalleled luxury that the Maldives is known for. We have specially selected the top five five-star resorts for those of you who crave nothing less than the best. Our journey begins at the Gili Lankanfushi Maldives, famous for its commitment to environmental preservation and remarkable water villas. Here you'll be immersed in unmatched luxury amid the sapphire waters and lively coral reefs. Each villa provides a haven of peace, with personal sun decks and glass bottom floors offering a captivating view of the undersea world. Following this, we venture to the one and only Ra. This resort presents a special mix of privacy and sophistication. It comes with private beaches, spectacular overwater villas and fine dining, making the one and only Rithi Ra a symbol of affluence. It also showcases a wide array of activities, from snorkeling and diving to wellness and spa treatments, promising an unforgettable experience. Our next stop is the Sonova Fushi. Concealed amidst thick foliage on a secluded island, this resort provides the ideal sanctuary from the world. The villas here are structured to blend naturally into the environment, offering a close encounter with the island's lush greenery and clear blue waters. We also have the Anantara Kihava Maldives Villas. Here you'll experience underwater overwater villas and a sky observatory. Finally, we explore the Cheval Blanc Randelli, featuring exquisite villas, private movie screenings and a Guerlain Spa. These resorts embody luxury and guarantee a fairy tale vacation that you'll cherish forever. The awe-inspiring views, exceptional service and supreme comfort make these resorts a compulsory visit for anyone pursuing the ultimate luxury experience in the Maldives. In the midst of the lavish accommodations and captivating culture, let's take a pause to explore something truly rejuvenating, the Maldivian Spa Experience. As you step into the world of relaxation, let's discover the top five spas in the Maldives that offer a unique blend of traditional and modern therapies. Our journey of relaxation begins at the Gili Lankan Fushi Spa, which is renowned for its holistic approach to wellness, incorporating traditional Ayurvedic treatments with modern therapies. Here you can indulge in a relaxing massage while listening to the soothing sounds of the ocean. Next, we visit the one and only Ra Spa, an oasis of tranquility where you can experience personalized treatments tailored to your needs. From body wraps to aromatherapy, this spa offers a diverse range of therapies that will leave you feeling refreshed and revitalized. Moving on, we find ourselves at the Sonova Fushi Six Senses Spa, which offers a variety of therapies in a serene setting. Surrounded by lush vegetation, you can indulge in a meditation session or a soothing massage, immersing yourself in the tranquility of the island. Our next stop is the Anantara Kihava Over Water Spa, where you can experience luxury treatments while gazing at the mesmerizing underwater world through glass floors. This unique setting is the perfect place to enjoy a relaxing massage or an invigorating body scrub. Finally, we arrive at the Cheval Blanc Randelli Guerlain Spa, which offers a range of signature treatments designed to rejuvenate your body and mind. Here you can enjoy a personalized facial or a soothing body massage, all while basking in the stunning views of the Indian Ocean. These spas, nestled in the heart of the Maldives, offer an unparalleled experience of relaxation and rejuvenation. They are the epitome of luxury, offering a sanctuary from the world where you can unwind and renew your spirit. So take a break from the hustle and bustle and immerse yourself in the soothing Maldivian spa experience. Taking a breather from the soothing spa experience, let's venture into the unconventional side of the Maldives. Welcome to some of the most unique hotels that the Maldives has to offer, promising an unforgettable stay unlike any other. First on our list is the Maraca at Conrad Maldives Rangali Island. This is the world's first underwater hotel villa, offering a 180-degree view of the vibrant marine life right from your bed. Imagine falling asleep surrounded by the tranquil deep blue sea and waking up to the sight of colorful fish gliding by. Next, we move on to Sonavajani, 
This is not your ordinary overwater villa. What makes it stand out is its retractable roofs that allow you to stargaze right from your bed. It's truly an out-of-this-world experience, making you feel as if you are sleeping under the stars. Lastly, we have a Milafushi. Nestled amidst lush greenery, Amilafushi's treehouse villas offer a unique perspective of the Maldives. Suspended high above the ground, these villas give you a bird's eye view of the island, making you feel like you are living in a tropical rainforest. These unique hotels offer a different perspective of the Maldives, making your stay even more memorable. So why settle for the usual when you can experience the extraordinary? Next time you plan your Maldivian vacation, consider staying at one of these unique hotels and make your trip truly unforgettable. Between checking into your chosen paradise and indulging in the local cuisine, let's not forget the rich culture and tradition the Maldives has to offer. First, we'll explore the Maldivian music and dance, known as Boduburu. This traditional form of entertainment is a spectacle to behold. It involves rhythmic drumming, singing and energetic dancing. Many resorts host these performances, offering guests a chance to participate and learn the dance moves. Next, we'll visit the Friday Mosque in Mail. This beautiful mosque is made entirely of coral stone, intricately carved with Arabic scripts and ornate patterns. It's a testament to the Maldives' Islamic heritage and craftsmanship. Thirdly, we'll learn about the Maldivian art of lacquer work. This traditional craft involves carving wooden items, like vases and boxes, and decorating them with layers of lacquer in intricate designs. You can find these beautiful items in local markets and souvenir shops. Fourth, let's take a dive into Maldivian folklore and mythology. Stories of sea monsters, spirits and heroes are deeply embedded in the Maldivian culture. These tales, passed down through generations, offer a fascinating glimpse into the Maldivian worldview. Lastly, we'll experience a traditional Maldivian fishing trip. Fishing is a major part of the Maldivian lifestyle, and many resorts offer guests the opportunity to go on a fishing expedition. It's a unique experience that allows you to understand the local way of life while enjoying the beauty of the Indian Ocean. Experiencing the local culture and traditions is as much a part of your Maldivian vacation as the stunning beaches and luxurious resorts. So immerse yourself, learn something new and take home memories that will last a lifetime. Feasting in the Maldives is an adventure in itself, offering a unique fusion of flavors from the Indian subcontinent, Arabia and East Africa. Here are the top 10 must-try foods in the Maldives. Starting off our list is Mashuni. This traditional Maldivian breakfast dish combines shredded smoked fish, grated coconuts and onions. It's usually served with freshly baked flatbread known as roshi. Next, we have garudia, a fragrant fish soup served with rice, lime and chili. It's a staple of Maldivian cuisine and a testament to the country's love for seafood. Our third must-try is bis kiemia. These are the Maldivian version of spring rolls, filled with lightly spiced cabbage, onions and hard-boiled eggs. Moving on, we have the Maldivian curries, known as riha. These curries are rich, spicy and full of flavor, often made with fish, chicken or vegetables. At number 5, we have aluvi boakiba, a sweet and savory cassava cake that's a popular snack or dessert in the Maldives. Next up is thaluli mas, a dish of fried fish marinated in a mix of garlic, chili and turmeric, giving it a unique flavor and a beautiful golden color. Our seventh pick is bambukelu hiti, a dish made from breadfruit, a staple in the Maldivian diet. It's often served boiled or fried as a side dish. At number 8 we have sagu bondibai, a sweet pudding made from sago pearls, condensed milk, cardamom and rose water. It's a popular dessert, especially during festive occasions. Our ninth must-try is Maldivian Live Lobster. This is a seafood lover's dream, with the lobster cooked to perfection and served with a range of sauces. Last but not least, we have Maldivian Reef Fish Cutlets. These are small, spicy fish cakes that are a popular snack or appetizer. These dishes offer a taste of the Maldives' rich culinary heritage, blending local ingredients with a medley of exotic spices. So during your stay, be sure to indulge in these gastronomical delights and savor the unique flavors of the Maldives. Let's take a culinary journey and explore some of the most unique restaurants in the Maldives. As we've seen, the Maldivian cuisine is a feast for the senses, but where you eat can be just as memorable as what you eat. Here are three dining experiences that will add an extra layer of excitement to your Maldivian vacation. Our first stop is the Ithaya Undersea Restaurant at Conrad Maldives Rangali Island. This is the world's first all-glass undersea restaurant. Here, you can dine 5 meters below sea level, surrounded by panoramic views of the vibrant coral gardens. 
Imagine savoring Maldivian Western fusion dishes while watching the marine life swim by. Next, we have Sub6 at Niyama Private Islands, Maldives. Originally an underwater nightclub, Sub6 has been transformed into a unique dining space. Here you can enjoy a meal 6 meters below the ocean surface, with floor-to-ceiling windows offering a mesmerizing view of the surrounding coral reefs and marine life. Our final stop is fresh in the garden at Son of Afushi. This restaurant takes eating fresh to another level. Perched above the island's lush vegetable and herb gardens, it's like dining in a luxurious treehouse. The menu features organic and locally sourced ingredients, many of which are grown right under your feet. These unique dining experiences will add an extra layer of excitement to your Maldivian vacation. Whether it's dining under the sea or up in a tree, the Maldives offers a culinary adventure that goes beyond the plate. Did you know that your dream trip to the Maldives could be closer than you think? Yes, you heard that right. If you're savvy with your credit card points, you could be boarding a plane to this tropical paradise sooner than you'd imagine. Let's dive into this exciting possibility. Credit card points or travel rewards are a fantastic way to fund your vacations. These points are typically earned through everyday spending on your credit card, but can also be accumulated through special promotions and bonus offers. The key is to use your card wisely and pay off your balance each month to avoid interest charges. So, how can you use these points for your Maldives trip? Various airlines have partnerships with credit card companies, allowing you to redeem your points for flights. Airlines like Emirates, Etihad and Singapore Airlines offer flights to the Maldives and are partners with major credit card rewards programs. Remember, it's important to check the conversion rates and any potential fees before transferring your points. You might also consider using your points for upgrades. Why not treat yourself to a little extra comfort on your flight? After all, you're heading to one of the most luxurious destinations in the world. With some smart planning and savvy use of your credit card points, your dream vacation in the Maldives could be just around the corner. So start accumulating those points and get ready to embark on a journey of a lifetime. Now that we've discussed how to use credit card points for flights, let's explore how you can use them to book your stay in the Maldives. Just like airlines, many credit card companies have partnerships with hotel chains. This means you can redeem your hard-earned points for hotel stays. Imagine waking up in a luxurious water villa, surrounded by the azure waters of the Indian Ocean, and knowing you've paid for it with your credit card points. Sounds dreamy, right? Some credit cards offer travel portals where you can book hotels directly using your points. These portals not only make the booking process easier, but also often offer better redemption value for your points. So you might want to check out these options. Also, don't forget about hotel upgrades. If you've been dreaming of that overwater bungalow or that suite with a private pool, your credit card points could make that dream come true. Many hotels allow you to use points for room upgrades so you can enhance your stay without spending extra. With some strategic use of your credit card points, you can enjoy a luxurious stay in the Maldives without breaking the bank. It's all about planning, knowing your options and using your points wisely. So start planning your dream vacation in the Maldives. It might be closer than you think. We've just shared how you can use your credit card points to book flights and hotels. You might be wondering, how do I earn these points? Well, let's dive in. First, the simplest way to earn points is by using your credit card for everyday purchases. Your morning coffee, groceries, gas, online shopping. All these transactions can earn you points. But remember, it's essential to pay off your balance in full each month to avoid interest charges. Another lucrative way to earn points is through sign-up bonuses. Many credit cards offer a hefty bonus if you spend a certain amount within the first few months of opening your account. This can be a quick way to boost your points balance. Just make sure the spending requirement aligns with your budget. And let's not forget about category bonuses. Some credit cards offer extra points for spending in certain categories such as dining, travel, or groceries. If you know your spending habits, you can choose a card that rewards you most where you spend the most. With these strategies, you can accumulate points faster. The key is to use your credit card wisely and responsibly. Every point you earn brings you one step closer to your dream vacation in the Maldives. So start earning those points and soon you'll be lounging on the white sandy beaches of this tropical paradise. Now that we've mastered the art of earning credit card points, let's delve deeper into how to get the most out of them. Understanding the value of your points and miles is the first step. Many people make the mistake of redeeming them for cash or gift cards, but this can often lead to a lower value. 
Instead, consider using them for travel-related expenses. Your points might get you far more value when used for flights or hotel bookings in the Maldives, for example. Next, consider utilizing transfer partners. Many credit card companies have partnerships with airlines and hotel chains. By transferring your points to these partners, you could significantly increase their value. For instance, your points might get you a $200 flight if you redeem them directly through your credit card company. But if you transfer them to an airline partner, they could be worth a $300 flight instead. It's worth exploring these partnerships to see where your points can take you. Finally, timing is everything. Prices for flights and hotels fluctuate throughout the year, and so does the value of your points. Try to redeem your points when travel prices are high. This way you'll get more bang for your buck. For example, a flight to the Maldives might cost more points in December than in April. But if the cash price of that flight is also higher in December, you're getting more value for your points. With these strategies in mind, you can make your credit card points go further, bringing your dream vacation in the Maldives even closer. Remember, every point counts. So start planning, start redeeming, and soon you'll be sipping a cocktail on a stunning Maldivian beach. Before we embark on our journey exploring the Maldivian islands, let's take a moment to discuss the best three travel credit cards to earn points. These cards can be your ticket to a dream vacation in the Maldives, faster than you might think. First up, we have the Chase Sapphire Preferred card. This card is a favorite among travelers and for a good reason. It offers two points per dollar spent on travel and dining, and one point per dollar spent on all other purchases. Plus, the card provides a 25% bonus when you redeem points for travel through the Chase Ultimate Rewards program. This could mean significant savings on your flight or hotel booking in the Maldives. Next, we have the Capital One Venture Rewards Credit Card. This card offers unlimited two miles per dollar on every purchase every day. What's more, you can transfer your miles to over 10 plus travel loyalty programs giving you the flexibility to choose the best redemption option for your Maldivian getaway. Lastly, we have the American Express Gold Card. This card is perfect for foodies, offering four points per dollar spent at restaurants and on groceries. It also offers three points per dollar spent on flights booked directly with airlines or through American Express Travel. This means you can earn points on your everyday purchases and use them to fund your dream vacation. To maximize your point earnings, consider using these cards for all your spending. Paying for your groceries, dining, and other expenses can quickly rack up points. Just remember to pay off your balance in full each month to avoid interest charges. Choosing the right travel credit card can help you earn points faster and bring you closer to your dream vacation in the Maldives. So, consider your spending habits. Pick the card that best suits your needs and start earning your way to paradise. Let's take a moment to discuss a powerful strategy for earning points, the American Express trifecta. This strategy involves utilizing three specific American Express cards, the American Express Gold Card, the American Express Platinum Card, and the Blue Business Plus Credit Card. Each of these cards offers unique benefits that, when used together, can significantly boost your point earnings. Firstly, we have the American Express Gold Card, which we've previously discussed. This card is perfect for everyday spending, with high rewards rates for dining and groceries. It's your go-to card for your daily expenses. Next, we have the American Express Platinum Card. This card is perfect for frequent travelers, offering five points per dollar spent on flights booked directly with airlines or through American Express Travel, and on eligible hotels booked through amextravel.com. This card should be your first choice when booking your flight to the Maldives. Finally, we have the Blue Business Plus credit card. This card offers two points per dollar on the first $50,000 in purchases each year and one point per dollar on purchases thereafter. This card is great for all other spending that doesn't fit into the bonus categories of the other two cards. The beauty of the American Express trifecta lies in the way these cards complement each other. By using the gold card for dining and groceries, the Platinum Card for travel and the Blue Business Plus for everything else, you can maximize your point earnings across all your spending. With the American Express trifecta, you can accelerate your point earnings and get to your dream vacation in the Maldives even faster. Remember, the key is to use the right card for the right purchases. With smart spending and a bit of strategy, your dream vacation could be just a few swipes away. Now that we've explored the power of the American Express trifecta, Let's shift our focus to another potent point-earning strategy. 
the chase trifecta. This strategy involves leveraging the benefits of three specific chase cards, the Chase Sapphire Preferred, the Chase Sapphire Reserve, and the Chase Freedom Unlimited. Let's start with the Chase Sapphire Preferred. This card is an excellent choice for travel and dining, offering two points per dollar on these categories. Whether you're booking your flight to the Maldives or enjoying a meal at a waterside restaurant, the Sapphire Preferred has you covered. Next, we have the Chase Sapphire Reserve. This card is a powerhouse for frequent travelers, offering a whopping three points per dollar on travel and dining after earning your $300 travel credit and one point per dollar on all other purchases. If you're planning to fly frequently or dine out often during your trip, this card can be your best ally. Finally, we have the Chase Freedom Unlimited. This card is your everyday spending champion, offering 1.5% cash back on all purchases. It's your go-to card for all other expenses that don't fall under the bonus categories of the other two cards. The beauty of the Chase Trifecta lies in the way these cards complement each other. By using the Sapphire Preferred for travel and dining, the Sapphire Reserve for high-value travel and dining purchases, and the Freedom Unlimited for everything else, you can maximize your point earnings across all your spending. With the Chase Trifecta, you can accelerate your point earnings and get to your dream vacation in the Maldives even faster. Remember, the key is to use the right card for the right purchases. With smart spending and a bit of strategy, your dream vacation could be just a few swipes away. Having covered the best travel credit cards for earning points, let's now delve into the best hotel credit cards that can earn you free hotel stays. These cards can be a game changer, making your dream vacation in the Maldives even more affordable. First on our list is the Marriott Bonvoy Boundless Credit Card. With this card in your wallet, you'll be earning six points per dollar spent at participating Marriott Bonvoy hotels. What's more, it rewards you with a free night every year after your account anniversary. This could be your ticket to a complimentary night in a beachfront villa. Next, we have the Hilton Honors American Express Surpass Card. This card is a boon for Hilton loyalists, offering a whopping 12 points per dollar on eligible purchases at Hilton hotels or resorts. Plus, if you spend $15,000 on purchases in a calendar year, you'll be rewarded with a free weekend night. Imagine spending that night in a water villa with the Indian Ocean right at your doorstep. Our final card is the IHG Rewards Club Premier Credit Card. This card stands out with its generous earning rate. 25 points total per dollar when you stay at an IHG hotel, and that's not all. You'll also earn a free night each year of card membership. That's a guaranteed night in a luxury resort every year. So, there you have it. With these hotel credit cards, you can earn free hotel stays, further enriching your Maldivian experience. Remember, every point counts. Use these cards wisely, and you could be lounging in your dream Maldivian resort sooner than you think. Now let's get ready to explore the enchanting islands of the Maldives. Now that you know about the best hotel credit cards for free stays, let me introduce you to the Hilton Hotel credit cards that can earn you even more free hotel stays. These cards can take your Maldivian vacation to the next level without breaking your bank. Firstly, we have the Hilton Honors American Express card. This card allows you to earn 7x Hilton Honors bonus points for each dollar of eligible purchases charged directly with a hotel or resort within the Hilton portfolio. So every time you spend, you're one step closer to your next dream vacation. Next up is the Hilton Honors American Express Surpass card. This card takes it up a notch, allowing you to earn 12x Hilton Honors bonus points for each dollar of eligible purchases charged on your card directly with a hotel or resort within the Hilton portfolio. Imagine the number of free stays you could earn. Lastly, we have the Hilton Honors American Express Aspire card. This card is for the high rollers, offering a whopping 14x Hilton Honors bonus points when you make eligible purchases on your card at participating hotels or resorts within the Hilton portfolio. This could be your ticket to a luxury suite in the Maldives. To sum it up, these Hilton Hotel credit cards can help you earn free hotel stays, making your dream vacation in the Maldives even more affordable. So, Start earning those points and soon you'll be enjoying the luxury of a Hilton hotel in the Maldives. Now let's move on to exploring the islands. Continuing our journey of maximizing your stay with the power of credit cards, let's now explore the Marriott hotel credit cards that can earn you even more free hotel stays. These cards can make your Maldivian vacation even more luxurious without stretching your budget. Starting with the Marriott Bonvoy Boundless credit card. 
This card allows you to earn a whopping 6x Bonvoy points for each dollar spent at Marriott Hotels. So every time you're dining, shopping or enjoying a spa treatment at a Marriott Hotel, you're also accumulating points towards your next dream vacation. Next, we have the Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant American Express card. This card matches the boundless card with 6x Bonvoy points for each dollar spent at Marriott Hotels. But it also comes with additional perks such as complimentary gold elite status, a $300 Marriott Bonvoy statement credit for purchases at participating hotels, and an annual free night award. Imagine the kind of luxury you could experience. Lastly, for those who travel for business, there's the Marriott Bonvoy Business American Express card. You can earn 4x Bonvoy points for each dollar spent at Marriott hotels. Plus, you'll earn 2x points on all other travel purchases, from flights to taxis and trains. This means your business trips could help fund your next vacation. In conclusion, these Marriott hotel credit cards can help you earn free hotel stays, making your dream vacation in the Maldives even more affordable. So start earning those points and soon you'll be enjoying the luxury of a Marriott hotel in the Maldives. Now it's time to move on to the next exciting part of our journey, exploring the islands. The Maldives offers more than just sunbathing. Indeed, the magic of the Maldives extends far beyond its sun-kissed beaches. There's an array of activities for the adventurous and the curious, the nature lovers and the culture seekers. As you set foot on these islands, the sapphire blue waters might beckon you first. Snorkeling is a must-do. The Maldives is home to a vibrant underwater world. You'll find yourself swimming alongside a kaleidoscope of tropical fish, turtles, manta rays, and even sharks. If you're lucky, you might even catch a glimpse of the elusive whale shark. For the more daring, diving into the depths of the Indian Ocean is an experience like no other. The Maldives coral reefs are a spectacle of color and life. There's also a wealth of shipwrecks that have become thriving marine habitats. As you descend, you'll be entering a world that feels almost alien yet utterly captivating. But the allure of the Maldives isn't limited to its underwater wonders. It's also a haven for fishing enthusiasts, Traditional Maldivian fishing is a unique experience, one that takes you back to simpler times. As the sun sets, you set sail on a traditional Dhoni boat, armed with a fishing line and bait. It's a serene, almost meditative process, rewarded with the freshest of dinners. The islands themselves are ripe for exploration. Island hopping tours offer a glimpse into the local life and culture. Each island has its own charm. Some are known for their local crafts, others for their historical sites, and some for their natural beauty. It's a wonderful opportunity to learn about the Maldivian way of life, beyond the luxury resorts. In the Maldives, every day holds the promise of a new adventure, a new discovery. It's a place that invites you to delve deeper, to look beyond the surface. It's a place that captivates you with its beauty and then surprises you with its richness. From underwater wonders to cultural treasures, there's plenty to explore in the Maldives. While the Maldives is a paradise, it's important to stay safe and respect the local culture. As you navigate the turquoise waters and pristine beaches of the Maldives, remember that safety should be a priority. The Maldives is generally a safe destination, but like any place in the world, it's wise to exercise common sense. Avoid swimming alone at night and always stay within the designated swimming areas. If you're planning to dive, ensure that you're properly trained and equipped. Now let's talk about the local customs and laws. The Maldives is a Muslim country and it's important to respect their traditions and laws. When visiting inhabited islands, including the capital city, Malal, dress modestly. Avoid wearing revealing swimwear, except on resort islands or designated tourist beaches. Alcohol is also prohibited on inhabited islands, but don't worry, you can still enjoy your favorite cocktail on the resort islands. It's also worth noting the importance of environmental respect. The Maldives is renowned for its rich marine life and stunning coral reefs. It's crucial to avoid touching or stepping on the corals when snorkeling or diving. Remember, take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints. Now onto local laws. Respect for local customs extends to the law as well. Be aware that importing items such as pork products, religious icons other than Islamic, and certain types of media is prohibited. One more thing, always ask for permission before taking photographs of local people. It's a simple gesture that goes a long way in showing respect. 
the key to a successful trip in the Maldives or anywhere else in the world is understanding and respecting the local culture. It not only ensures your safety, but also enriches your travel experience, making your trip more meaningful and memorable. With awareness and respect, your trip to the Maldives can be a dream come true. So, are you ready to plan your trip to the Maldives? We've taken quite the journey today, exploring everything from the azure waters of this paradise to the practicalities of getting there. We started off by immersing ourselves in the enchanting world of the Maldives, understanding its unique geography and culture. Then, we navigated the logistics of planning the trip, from booking your flight to arriving in Mail, the capital city. We went island hopping, discovering the diverse experiences each island has to offer. We delved into choosing your accommodation, whether it's a luxurious overwater bungalow or a cozy guest house. We also ventured into the vibrant life beneath the waves, exploring the island's rich marine biodiversity. And let's not forget, we discussed how to stay safe and respectful in this beautiful archipelago. With this guide, your dream vacation to the Maldives is within reach. Safe travel.